Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's video guys, I will be going through an in-depth guide, step-by-step -step, on how to extract models from Apex Legends and import them and texture them inside of Blender. Now, if you guys have any problems with this tutorial today, feel free to DM me uh, on Twitter, that will be in the link below, or feel free to join uh, my Discord, which will be in the link below, um, where you can ask questions and a whole staff team is there to help and assist you with anything. Um, but anyway, guys, let's get into the video. So basically, what you want to do, guys, is you want to go to the link in the description below where I will be leaving the description to the Apex Shader and um, the Legion Extractor, which is pretty much you model, but for Apex. Um, so once you're at this site, all you need to do is click download. That is all. Don't need to download it. Um, like Overwatch tutorial, I already have it downloaded. All good. And then this one, just click download. And then we're all good. And then after that, um, now with the old version of Legion, um, it could be put inside of Apex. Like you'd put it in the Apex folder. And that's what you do with U-Model. But with this, I recommend just putting it on your desktop, the Legion application, because if you actually put it inside the Apex Legends folder, the game um, the game breaks. So it's pretty much, you can't play it. Um, but you can put it anywhere on your desktop, anywhere on your, like, your hard drives, anywhere, just not the Apex Legends installation folder. So after you've got that, you just want to open it. You'll get this, it'll say Legion, it'll come up, and now you've got this. So basically, all you want to do now is you want to go load file and you want to direct yourself to uh, the Apex Legends pack. So let me quickly just pull up mine. So games, games. Um, so yours will be like C drive, wherever you have it installed, but then you'll find Apex Legends, Apex uh, packs, Win64, and now you'll see all these packs. And basically, there's a lot of packs here, but you want to just scroll through and find common.rpack. And now you want to click that and open it. And once this is loaded, you have settings where you can load models, images, materials, and animations. Now, images, that's pretty much for different color variations off the one skin. Um, and the materials and animations, um, you don't really need that too much if you're just making thumbnails um, or whatever you're doing it for. Um, but pretty much what I have is just models because when you export it, it just comes with the textures that you need for that skin. So today, uh, we'll just probably do one of the legendary Revenant skins. So um, what you just want to type is Revenant or anything close to it and click search. And then what you can do with this is there will be uh, all of them, the Revenant, and legendary one and two those are two different styles and then there'll be pov you don't want to export pov because they use different meshes in the game when you're first person uh there's no head and some of the torso is missing and stuff and also guys um where you have all this uh the model settings are here as well so you can choose if you want it as an obj smd uh an fbx i have se se model because that's just um i've been told by multiple people that it works best Probably not, they're, they're literally all the same, but it's just all down to preference. Same with image settings, you can choose from DDS, PNG, or, T, uh, or TIFF, um, but it's, again, completely down to preference. I prefer PNG, but yeah. After you've got that all set up, um, you just wanna click on this. Now you press E to export, um, and also, uh, if you don't have much space or anything, and you just wanna kind of look at it before you preview it, so today we're gonna be doing the legendary, um, legendary two, which is the false idol or the other one. Um, oh wait, this is the POV one. So there you go, clown moment. But you wanna just click, you can just cycle through them with the arrow keys, which is really good. Um, so legendary two, and basically you can zoom in and out, but the way to look around is you have to hold down alt and then click and then alt middle mouse button to move. So you can kind of just look around, see if this is the right model. And then when that's done, just press E and it will say exporting and then it will export. And basically wherever you have your Legion folder or your Legion application saved, um, the Legion folder, call, it will be called exported files. It will just save right there. So what you'll have is you'll have exported files and then you go models. And then I've got a bunch of stuff exported, but then we'll go to 
pilot revenant legendary 2 and then images and then here are all the textures that we're going to need to uh texture um and get our apex legend model working all right guys so now that we're in blender uh we need to import the model now so if you guys are using fbx or obj that comes pre-installed with blender so you can port them straight away or if you choose to use se model or smd import uh those i will be leaving a link for in the description below where you can install it into blender and then import those models um but basically all we need to do now is go to import uh se model desktop or wherever you have it saved and exported files folder models and then we need to find pilot revenant legendary 2 or whichever skin you are doing it will always have a pilot in front so just look for the peas and then we found it pilot uh heavy revenant legendary 2 se model we just want to import that now and now that that's imported we want to just rotate it upright and what i do for my uh apex legends models they get it pretty much almost identical to the same size as fortnite models which kind of just helps with like the positioning of lights and stuff is i just like to size it down to 0 0.026 and that gets it kind of the right scale and then also what i like to do is i just go to turn off shapes so uh the bones are a little bit thinner i don't know i just prefer working with that a bit more and now um what happens is it will always come pre-installed with the d texture so as you can see, for example, with the beard, very flat, no detail at all, um, just very, very bland and um, yeah. So pretty much if you were to use this for any piece of art, it would look like absolute garbage. But now that we've uh, imported it, we also have the textures, so we can now head on with that. So we just want to go to object, we're going to open this and we will see the D texture right here. So we just want to go ahead and delete bsdf and now we want to click on file append and go to uh desktop and then new apex shader node tree cause apex shader big shout out to core i will be leaving his twitter in the description below because he made the shader and he pretty much made uh texturing these and making them look nuts with the new shader possible so big shout out to him but all you want to do is just click append and you wanna go shift A, group, oh, cause apex shader. We just wanna make this a bit bigger. And then we wanna to go to BSDF into surface. And then the texture that will always be here first will always be D. But uh, for this, it's called albedo. Um, so you just wanna plug it into the albedo section. Now we need to find the textures for the other things. So this is the D texture for the head. So basically once you've found the head texture in here, you just wanna look around and find the other textures that match the same um, build as that. So right here, this will be the specular uh, texture because um, it will, specu the specular texture will always um, have some little amount of color in there. This one has a noticeable amount of color because of the metallicness and um, the way that Revenant is built. But some other skins, it's a bit harder to notice. Um, for example, apart on this Revenant skin, this is the albedo texture for his beard, aka the D texture. Um, and you can see that has color, um, but with his beard, the specular kind of looks like the roughness texture, but it has a little bit of a red tint to it, which means it needs to go into specular. So pretty much any texture that looks like your D, um, but has uh, just a little tint of color will always be the specular. Um, so we'll just want to grab this and we want to drag it in and we want to leave it SRGB because it has color in it. And we'll drag and drop it into specular. And there we go. Now we want to find our roughness texture or the clear coat texture. And that will always be um, a flat, nice gray. That will all, that's all it will be. It will always be gray. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to look for, just that texture, but gray. And then you want to change it to non-color and bring it in and drag it into the glossy section. Now we need to find the end texture again, which will be the exact same, but looking like green and so on and so forth. Now I want to drag this in, non-color and normal. Um, and now we just need to find the AO texture 
which adds the ambient occlusion and more shadows and detail, um, which will always be uh, like the uh, clear coat slash roughness, which will always be a f like a flat gray. This will always be like white and black, nothing else. That's all. The AO texture will always be white and have black outlines. And you want to bring this in and again, change it to non-color and plug it into AO. So all of these, the Albedo Specular will be sRGB, Glossy, Normal and AO will be non-color. And for the final texture, not every single skin or every single mesh part on a um, character will have an emission texture, but if it does, uh, it just does bring a lot more depth to it. So this one, as you can see, it's got a little like sun looking emission to it. And if we bring up this, we can see it matches the same spot with the same kind of cutout uh, on the head texture. So we just want to bring this in and we'll leave, we'll always leave the emission on sRGB. And what you want to do is you want to drag it into emission and drag it into emission color as well. And that is the color and the emission strength for the eyes. And then you can adjust the emission strength from here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much all you need to know texturing wise. Um, but I'll quickly skip forward and show you guys what the model looks like when it has been fully textured with the new shader. All right guys, so here is the final uh, Revenant skin that has been fully shaded with the new Apex shader. Um, but yeah, if you just follow the steps that I did for the mask, um, then you should be all good. Just remember for the specular, make sure you're always looking out for some color. And if there's no emission texture for one um, certain part of the skin, then that's okay. It just means there's no light source on that part. But pretty much if you did everything right, it should look really detailed, really high poly, really good looking um, just in general. But pretty much apart from that, that's all you guys really need to know in porting Apex. Um, but yeah, one last final uh, disclaimer. Um, with Legion, not everything will be in common R pack. That's just where all the characters are. But if you're looking for more environment things, um, just go and have a look through the other R packs and you'll be able to find stuff in there. Um, but anyway, apart from that guys, um, that's going to be it for the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to consider subscribing and um, turning on the notifications. So when I post more tutorials on Blender, you guys don't miss it. Um, and also if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video and um, share it with your friends. But again, if you guys have any struggles with this at all, make sure to go ahead and um, drop me a message on Twitter um, where I can help you out with it or join my Discord in the description below um, where we have a whole staff and helping team that can easily help you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So, uh, until the next video, uh, peace out.